Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today in this video, the NFL schedule just got released. So this is a live reaction to all of the primetime games and also to all of the Houston Texans games. And I'm gonna tell you what I believe the Houston Texans record will be. But first off, we're gonna start with all the primetime games. Let's hope the NFL does this right. More content and reactions like this, make sure to like this video. Let's begin now. So we're gonna start off, we already know week one, Thursday, September 5th is Ravens at Chiefs. Pretty good way to start. Last year was Lions at Chiefs. Lions won some people like, oh, the Lions gonna be lit and they were um ravens hopefully y'all you know run the ball this time um let's look at the friday game this is interesting corinthians arena sao paulo brazil what a way to start the season green bay packers versus philadelphia eagles okay trying to make the game global pittsburgh steelers at atlanta falcons is okay one o'clock game okay show me they show me a little one o'clock games okay okay nobody care about these one and they should obviously show my game i need to see it's gonna be week one okay i need to see the monday night game and the sunday night game Rams at Lions. This is different. Usually Cowboys is 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 Giants Cowboys like every time. But they changed it here. Monday, September 9th, you have Jets at 49ers. Aaron Rodgers going to San Francisco. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So we got this page. We just got the Sunday Night Football page. Uh, all the games on NBC. So we have Ravens at Chiefs. Like I said, this game. The week two, we have Caleb Williams in Houston. So Houston gets Sunday Night Football in the second week. Last year, we were known to not have any Sunday Night Football game, so that's dope. Chiefs get another one. Chiefs at Falcons. I don't know why that's Sunday Night Football. I don't see the point at Falcons. Kirk Cousins versus uh, Patrick Mahomes. I can see the Caleb Williams and CJ Stroud, the you know elite rookie last year versus hopefully elite rookie this year, but I don't understand that one. Bills at Ravens. understand that. Cowboys at Steelers. Okay, not bad. Bengals at Giants. Now nah, you lost me. Now nah, you lost me. That's AI. I don't know why you what what is the point of that? I don't know, but hey, Cowboys at Steelers and Bills at Ravens. Okay. Jets at Steelers. Uh Aaron Rodgers versus Russell Wilson. Okay, that can have potential. Cowboys at 49ers always has to be that. Jaguars at Eagles. Uh ye maybe, maybe. Lions at Texans. We get two Sunday night footballs in Houston. Good for us. Um, should be a fun game. Colts at Jets. They want to get Anthony Richardson some time. Give him a game. Okay. Okay. Um, Eagles at Rams. That's pretty good. Dolphins at Packers. You know, it could be decent at the end of the year. Um, 49ers at Bills has interest. Chargers at Chiefs. I can see that division. Green Bay at Seattle could have some playoff ramp. For, well, no. Seattle is not that good. Never mind. Texans at Chiefs Sunday Night Football. That is that. Was that? Is that a Saturday? Yes, yeah, a Saturday. But it's on NBC. Okay, that's that should just be one of these regular Sunday Night games. But I guess Buccaneers at Cowboys. Who's on the Baker Mayfield versus Dallas? I guess. And the end is Dolphins at Browns. Okay, so it's not as like stupid as last year's, but still like still a little bit to be desired. You know what I'm saying? Like a little. You know, there's still some matchups that I'm just like, where is Bills versus Chiefs? Like, why is that not on here? I don't know. Bills, Bengals, Bills, Chiefs, Texans versus... Maybe we got some Monday Night Football games there, but, you know, we, we'll take we'll take what we got. All right, we're going to check this Monday Night Football schedule. So, we already know that one. Falcons at Eagles. Okay, Jags at Bills. Pretty decent. Washington at Cincinnati is a waste of time. Maybe Jaden Daniels show something. Tennessee at Miami. Um, yeah, okay. Seattle at Detroit. Uh, Saints at Chiefs. Mediocre. Bills at Jets could be good if it's like that freaking week one game last year. If I know it won't be. Ravens at Buccaneers, uh, whatever. Chargers at Cardinals, whatever. Um, Giants at Steelers, whatever. Buccaneers at Chiefs, whatever. Oh, so we have, so, okay, so Texans at Cowboys. So it's a Monday night football game. That's cool. Okay, Dolphins at Rams is whatever. This is a, this is a, this is a game. Um, this is a game. I thought this would be on uh, Thanksgiving. I thought that would make more sense, but. You know, I, I, I'm i going to look at the Thanksgiving schedule. I'm pretty sure I know who's going to play. It. It's, it's going to be one of the people in the division. I know. Um, Ravens at Chargers is pretty cool. It's all right. Browns at Broncos, pretty cool. Bengals at Cowboys, okay. Bears at Vikings can be interesting for sure. Falcons at Raiders. Saints at Packers. And Lions at 49ers, which is good. All right, so the best one is this. That's the one where, like, most of these matchups are kind of, like, randomized. Like, I don't really care for them. There's no like, oh, wow, that stands out. But this one does. So there that. There you go. So Texans have one Monday night games versus Dallas, and they have three NBC games. Okay, let's look at Thursday night. 
All right, Thursday night, and I gotta look at my own schedule. So most of these gonna be. I'm, I'm gonna go through this fast. Most of these gonna be trash. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like most of these not gonna be good. They actually they're not so bad so far. So far they're not that bad. Texans at Jets on Thursday night. Okay. Um, Bengals at Ravens. Washington at Eagles. Steelers at Browns. Raiders at Chiefs. Packers at Lions. 49ers Browns okay so there's some there's some decent matchups I think maybe a little more decent than last year because they put a lot of ridiculous teams on there but I mean does it still does you know still is like football it's it's whatever what's on Thanksgiving or this is a show right here maybe I should just look at this I right, was Thanksgiving so Thanksgiving Day you have Bears at Lions not bad you have Giants at Cowboys which is an atrocity the atrocity I, it's so like bro why is why is Texans at Dallas like not the Thanksgiving game. Why do they keep playing the Giants or the Commanders? Like, bro, these games are awful, bro. I don't understand. Like, you want these boys to have a free? They they want people in Dallas to be happy on Thanksgiving. That's what they want. Because why would you put that? That's so. That's such terrible like marketing to me. Miami at Green Bay um, could be a good matchup. Still kind of just random, very random. I don't think. I don't know. I think the best game is the first one in terms of just like I'm actually interested because you know Caleb Williams, but. Yeah, man, they, they don't hit on Thanksgiving, bro. These people, they're not doing good on Thanksgiving. I, I I won't lie to you. All right, well, let me go and check my schedule now. So week one, we played the Indianapolis Colts, which is an interesting matchup. We won the last time we played in Indy. We'll see how that goes because I know they they definitely have a statement. They definitely want to make a statement game out of this. Um, So that's an interesting that's an interesting matchup. Definitely going to have to get that one. Really try to, like, get an edge out of that one for sure. The Bears, actually, is, this, is these two away games? No, this got to be in Houston. Yeah, it's in Houston. I was like, dang, boy. Okay, at Minnesota. Should be interesting. Versus Jacksonville. Versus Buffalo. At New England. At Green Bay. Okay, Indy. At the Jets. Versus the Lions. At the Cowboys. Versus Tennessee. Is that... That's right for Thanksgiving. Then we have a bye week in the end of December. Boy, we got a bye week that late? December the 8th is our bye week, bro. You got to wait till freaking three months in the season to take a break. That's tough. <laughs> they they hey they wanted to get all okay i feel whatever bro um versus the dolphins at kansas city versus baltimore you know i'm gonna tell you this schedule is hard it's the fourth hardest schedule but at the same time though i think they they they, they kind of spread it out well because they're like the colts the bears the vikings and the jaguars at home these two games at home and the, these are winnable games these are very these are winnable and even versus buffalo at home is winnable these first six games First six games are like winnable. Like you can lose and you won't win all of them, but they're winnable. Um, at Green Bay, it gets a little hard, right? But still decent. Indianapolis at home, you know, we probably split with those boys. At the Jets is tough because on Halloween, it's going to be really scary because that turf is atrocious. Versus Detroit, okay, that's a hard matchup, at least at home. At Dallas is a hard matchup. But, you know, there's a lot of Houston people that will go to that game. So you're going to hear a lot of. Dallas people, but you will hear a good amount of Houston people. Um, should be an interesting matchup. So, you know, that's one that's going to be very toxic, though, for sure. Um, versus Tennessee. Yeah, it's very winnable at Jacksonville. We usually do really well there. Um, may not happen this year, but we do usually do pretty well in Jacksonville. Bye week. So, like, you know, it's hard. The schedule is hard, but I feel like these games, the way they, because there's one thing if you put like Bills, Chiefs, all right right by each other something like that something like ridiculously hard but you know if we stay healthy and the team clicks like they i know they can click this could be a you know 11 win team honestly this team can win 11 maybe even 12 games um that's the expectations 12 games honestly um but um you know you can always you, they, they have the chance to underachieve and get 11 or 10 but you know hoping for 12 wins here and yeah that's my prediction to this. This was definitely very interesting to see see these games. And now I got to lock in on Indianapolis for week one. It's not like facing Baltimore in week one where it was just like it's impossible to win. Um, we can still lose an in Indy. It's very possible, but it's not in, it's not impossible. So we can as a shot. And when Baltimore, there was no chance. But yeah, hey, for more content, more info content like this, make sure to like the video. If you're a Texan fan, make sure to like the video. And down below, if, whatever your team is, if you are a Texan fan or another team, comment how many wins you think your team's going to get. Comment that down below. And if you comment that, that's how I know you finished the video. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. And I'm out of here.